Rahman Rahim. This is our third lecture covering the tricks from 21 to 30. Uh, the first is advanced transpose. Let us go towards the transpose option. Uh, this is the table selected and what we have done in the last lecture, we just go towards paste special and selected the transpose option. But in this transpose option, if we change the value, uh, from here, the value did not change in the original table. We will select uh, these three columns and if you selected, you can see the dimension, seven rows and four columns. We will uh, select the dimension here, seven rows and four columns and I am going to write T-R-A-N-S-P-O-C-E, P-O-S-E transpose and in the transpose option, I will select uh, this whole table and after selecting this table I will press shift control and enter and now if I change some value here you can see the value is changed in the original table so this is the advanced transpose uh, 20 seconds is the slicers for the table so I am here on the table and first of all I am going to insert and in the insert I will select table option and click ok the data is converted into a table now I will go towards insert and in the insert option there is a slicer I will go towards person category ID salary and category these three columns used for slicers and you can see the C slicers are available in front of you if you select this it will show only these values if it is for selecting all values uh, if they are in the same name so you can see here is a table uh, I will select this go to control F and I Ali and you can see Ali is selected but I want to click on select all and I will click control A from my keyboard and you can see all Ali's are selected and I am going to close and if I want to color all Ali's with yellow you can see I can select yellow all these are selected we can delete it or do any type of formatting you want uh, the fourth option is about hiding the cell values uh, it's very simple if I want to hide this if I want to hide uh, the values of this column I will click control plus one go to custom and click on here general and I will write semicolon here one semicolon and press enter you can see the value is hide if you want to see it control plus one uh, remove this and press enter the value is uh, displayed again the 25th option is to remove all blank rows in a worksheet here are some black rows I will click on it and click control G and go to a special and select blank if I click OK the blank rows are selected now I press control minus from my keyboard and the blank rows are deleted automatically now the 26th option is to magical sum in a circular table you can see there is an empty values if I write uh, the formula of sum and I will select all of these it will never do the circular sum so for doing the circular sum there is a technique I will go towards uh, this formula bar calculation option made it manual now I do sum sum and now if I select this it will perform the circular from you can see 946 is here now I will go towards another option the 27th option is the convert function you can see here is feet written and I want to convert uh, feet to inches so I will write here is equals to convert convert and after selecting convert I will uh, I want to convert this value so I will select this value and after comma I will make double inverted commas and in double inverted commas I will write feed you can see the values from here and I will go to feet and after the second comma I want to convert it into inches so I will write i n inches so all uh, you can see in the drop down menu so 20 feet is converted into inches so you can convert any quantity according to your requirement the 28 is to add prefix in mobile numbers or to add mister or uh, anything uh, text or number in a specific column so you so I want to add mister in all of them I will click uh, press control when go to custom and in the custom I will uh, make inverted commas light mister dot mister dot is a text and then I will write add and add is for a string add is added 
suppose there is a number i want to add some prefix in the number so i will go to custom and in the custom option i will uh, erase it general and i will write 92 and for adding number write hash and press enter you can see uh, 92 is added so you can add all of your required things in any of the number here towards uh, the 29th option the 29th option is important is to embed excel data to ms word file so i have uh, made a separate excel file and i am going to save it on the desktop here is the desktop and in the desktop i want to save it as connect excel workbook it is saved now i am going to microsoft word on the insert tab i will click on this object option uh, create from file browse and i will go towards the desktop and here is the file and i am selecting the file uh, by clicking on insert the file is selected and i will click on link to file and you can see uh, the table is here but uh, what is the important thing the important thing is if i go to the file and convert uh, this 52 to 522 2. and you can see the average has been changed now i will save the file and go towards microsoft word and you can see it is changed in real time if it is not changed you can click on update link and it will change so all the changes in microsoft excel will be updated in real time so this is uh, the 29 function the 30s function is to calculate the average so i am going here and use the function a v e r a g average and by writing this i can select this column and press enter the average can also be calculated that's all for the 10 trips hope you to meet you in the next video thank you